Hello and welcome to my final ever video on my Canon Legre HFR506 camcorder I've been using since June last summer in 2017 as a spare camcorder to this, the Panasonic HCW580 camcorder that I've been using since July of 2016. Now this is still the best camcorder away from 4K Ultra HD filming. I recommend to anyone who's looking for a new camcorder right now, go and buy one of these. You will not be disappointed. And with the additional of a twin camcorder, which you can use without even panning round, which is a great little addition to anyone, and it does produce some good filming. This will now be as the second camcorder to my new one when I'm out filming on the main line or on Preserve Railways. This will still be used as a main camcorder when I'm out going out on bus events or on model railway exhibitions. This will still get used and is still very handy and very useful. Now, enough, enough with that one. Time to go on with my brand new camcorder, the Panasonic HCVX980 camcorder, which is eligible to put a microphone on, which is, I have one here. The Rode Go video microphone was a lightweight, no batteries required for this, which is very perfect for me. <coughs> anyway, of course, this came around f after following inspiration from my mentors and my senior people who are subscribed to me on my YouTube channel, and I watched some of theirs, and they do produce some excellent sound quality with microphones, and that really got me inspired to get myself one of these, this is eligible for this. Anyway, enough with the talk, let's get on with opening the box. Comes in nicely well in the bubble wrap. Put on one side for a minute. And here we are. This looks absolutely beautiful. Of course, 4K Holger HD, which I'm going into in the in the future now it does consume a lot of batteries which i have heard a lot of reviews on but not to worry i will be getting bigger batteries which are required an sd card which is eligible for 4k ultra hd also there you got the night vision shots for night mode which is perfect when you're filming at night because you may remember tv programs like most haunted and ghost hunters something like that and the old programs of top gear particularly in their tour of South Africa in one of their filmings. <clears throat> when you open it, of course it's a touch screen, which is perfect. And of course you've got the hot shoe adapter and the release, which is here, which I'll explain in a minute. <clears throat> and then the microphone input and then a audio video HDMI where you connect and the USB connection where you connect onto your laptop or your computer or whatever on the side here which is your charger and the place for your headphone <coughs> input now I have seen a lot of people review on that and they can get damaged which thank goodness I won't be using the headphone in the future so there will be no need for that at all and there's a function button which I won't be using unless if I need it though but uh, so yeah and of course that's where you put your battery there which I will put in now actually because that's the lens hood which you can put on the front which I'm not a big fan of this to be honest with you but unless however the f if I'm facing towards the sun that will be used here is the battery well, here is the battery it's like the regular one you get. Yep. Although there are bigger ones available from Panasonic. Just shut that for a minute. Of course, I got it upside down. Never mind. Put it in halfway and then off you go. Of course, also on the inside as well, you got your manual turning on and off your Wi-Fi, which you can use your mobile phone or iPhone or tablet as a second screen on this, your HDR, 
and your playback and of course on the top there you've got your zoom in and out and when you do your playback it can be a volume controller and photo button to do your 4k and it is a windshield in there there's one built in but uh, during this time I'm going to be having a good close look at it and just to get used to it really right onto the microphone which I have seen a lot of people review it and you can access the zoom which I will get to let's uh, open this box up Because the microphone you can slot in at the back there, which there's a little shoe adapter that we've got in here. Which is this thing here. You have a shoe adapter which you can just slot in at the back. Back there, and you want to get it out, just press this button and plug it out again and just slot it back in. And then, of course, with your hot shoe, put the microphone in, tighten it, and there we go, and that looks beautiful. So I'm going to get this charged, and that is my future videoing in the future. So I'm going to get this charged up and I'm going to give you some sample footage. Well, when do you compare that to the weight of one before you find I'm going to go to the 